just how unfathomably drunk I got at South by So Wasted. That was really We got thing. really wasted. Yeah, we got super fucking drunk. Uh, almost as drunk in a <laughs> shitty segue. Uh, as, uh, I don't know, we should have got drunk when we got really, uh, we got in trouble at Twit. Yeah, uh, and there's uh, an element to that story Alrighty. that we have never oh, shared on the show perspective. Yippee! And that is that of oh Liz. Liz, <laughs> uh, who has only recently just left uh, the network, used to be uh, somebody that had to deal with our horse shit, specifically <laughs> as it relates to this guy. The I end hate dragon. that mask with the passion. Well, okay, but you don't have to hate it anymore. Now you can... Uh, no, I can I can cherish it and love it and just <laughs> fully embrace the Mexican wrestling-ness nature of it. Which... So... Uh, Let's let let's go back to the the beginning. At what point did we at NSFW become come on the radar as like fucking up uh, as uh, in your a problem mail route? At which point? What's that? Mail route when you guys did um, a fan did a little music video of your guys's mail route. Do you what remember was- the name of the music video? No, I blocked that out. Um, just like I do a lot of traumatic episodes in my life. <laughs> So my therapist thought it was a good idea, so I, I just kind of went with how it. How would you describe the mood inside Twit uh, when this music video? Because I assume it, we have a lot of fan, uh, friends in Twit. Uh, we are we're friends. A lot of other people that work there. Yeah. Uh, I assume people were passing it around because they liked the show and they thought it was funny. Oh, they thought it was hilarious. <laughs> yes, they, yes, they did. <laughs> Um, plenty of fans sent it to us, and we got to be like, "Oh joy, look what um just sent over! Oh joy, look what the just got forwarded!" Yes, no. trying to bury this we tried to like they tried to bury this so badly because of I was I was not happy about it. Uh, <laughs> all right, so everybody's laughing because. And by the way, I have I had always heard that that song was like inappropriate because you didn't know whether or not the boner was for or against the rape. And I feel like that video does a really good job of illustrating that this boner is anti-rape. It's an this anti-rape, is an anti-rape boner. Rape boner. It's yeah, no, it's like hey, bro, not cool, rapist, spam. You need to go away. <laughs> Fear the power of the mail route boner for stopping rape. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So, so I would imagine that was a bit awkward. Um, <laughs> so you oh, said, you mean you said talking everybody... to the advertiser okay. after that? No. So, so no, you, you yeah. say uh, that, that they that they tried to to bury it. So, so this was this was a uh, a negative thing in the eyes of Twit. Yes, because it was immediately associating. It's like, oh wait, so. The advertiser is sending this message about <laughs> boners. Yes, or exactly. Yeah. As, as a yeah, good defense. No, exactly. So it's like, so they're paying for this and talking about this, and this is the message they wanted to put across. <laughs> so how would you, as in your position at Twit, what would you, if you were to guess our reputation before the spam is a is a rapist ad uh, aired. But were, were we known as good ad readers? Oh hell yeah! <laughs> okay, we're no, you guys know that was the thing. It's like you guys had such the crowd source like behind you. It's like no, that was the thing that was about sales. Like no, these guys yeah. have a diehard like just core of fans where they will support this. They will get her done, as you want to say, and just freaking 
they're going to only support good stuff. So they will do this. So, so that was the thing where MailRoute was, they wanted specifically to be on this show because they knew how good you guys were about picking your advertisers and putting it across in the fan group you guys had. So and, and, then and, that music video came and yeah. then all shit hit the fucking fan. So how were we looked at after the music video? Um, basically as, do you know that movie that came out? Was it the 90s or 80s? It's like, um, Killed the babysitter. It was kind of like that afterwards. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Yeah, it's kind of like after that where it's like, okay, you guys have to have like a legit babysitter after that. It wasn't kind of like, you know, like a teenage girl who is like still trying to find her way and was going to have like a boyfriend over and they were going to do something in the corner. And, you know, well, Joey and Diana were upstairs sleeping. It's like, no, you need a legit person who had like so, so security we, checks behind we, them. We were looked at as liabilities. Pretty much. Okay, and we needed somebody <laughs> to scream. I think that might be my favorite moment, is the literally side mouth as she goes for a drink. Pretty much. Let me, I'll just hide in here for a moment. One second. I know, listen, let me ask somebody who has uh, a pedigree in viral music videos. Uh, Ali, uh, have you ever seen our spam as a rapist video before? I not, I did not, and it's just changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, at the Would moment, you I'm just sending that to Fandango. That's my next video. Likely use the services of did, you, did you hear that, Justin? She says she's sending it to Fandango. That's her next video. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Uh, so now, um, what, what is what is the edict that comes down from on high on how we are to be handled in terms of our ads? And, and keep in mind, um, <clears throat> you know, we, we, you know, we don't know. We're just, you know, we're, we're. Like, I, I feel like this is the Joker defense. Like, ah, we wouldn't know what to do with success if it came to us. We just, you know, we're we're just a dog running around on a chain. Uh, yeah. And, mm. and so in this case, you, you just know, got so happy to get something in your mouth, you just didn't know what <laughs> you're doing. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh. So 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 Twit Twit basically says like mm, these guys can't be trusted. Yeah. So what what is what is the process? What is what is laid down? What is the new way to handle? The, the NSFW ad problem. Screen them. Okay. Screen them as though, like, you know, someone, you, you know when you call a 1-800 number and they're like, just this. so you know, your call will be recorded for customer service quality. So blah, 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 blah. It's like, it pretty much came to that point where you guys had such great ad reads that so appealed to your audience but necessarily wouldn't come across the best way to the advertisers. So, that okay, so that. in like, your mental hey, checklist, hey, in your mental hey, checklist, what were the hot buttons that you were looking for each time that you would go through? Or was it a gut, just a gut check? <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to say in so little time. <laughs> Uh, and then again, just to just to paint the stakes here, the problem is is that people we were a very low downloaded show in comparison to the big shows that mm -hmm. got a lot of the big ad buys. But yes. because we drove like social interaction, oh, they, yeah, super. Twit would often, and correct me if I'm wrong, they would often put us with big accounts, despite the fact that our show did not deserve to be in the same league as some well, of the other shows that got right, them. Right. Because, because uh, reliably, we could make uh, a louder noise. I, I think it's safe to say that outside of This Week in Tech, we, we could be uh, reliably counted up upon to make the biggest noise out of anything on the network, would you say? Yeah. No, you guys had a big social background that just anything you guys said. I mean, just, listen, here's the thing. 12 of you motherfuckers listen and you all tweet. <laughs> and that's all that is. I'm pretty aware of that. That's it's it. like, we, like, I don't know how many people all of a sudden just tweeted and emailed your ad like, look what they did with MailRoute. This was awesome. It was like, shit. Really? Well, and what's, fu what's funny is even so many places we have to delete and say we have to report this. Oh, no, we don't want to have that be anywhere. It's uh, C2D2 suggests that you join the conversation with hashtag night attack, hashtag mail route, hashtag spam as a rapist. So uh, um, as it was happening, I would like to point out that, that, that we weren't entirely ignorant of the fact that there were other parties to please because i remember sending an email to tom like hey man uh this is what the fans are doing are you cool with that and tom writes back like like excitedly like 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, this no, is Tom, Tom the CEO. Yeah. Yeah. Tom the CEO of Mail Route. Yeah, so, exactly. And we we've talked in the past about our interactions with 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 Mail Route, but let's let's uh, let, let let's keep this this the folks of this story here in the cottage. So uh, we are now being we are now there is a, a system in which we're now I pro- our editor problem, Tony children. or Anthony. Um, it switched to Anthony. Uh, yeah, from, he would let you know whether or not something was. No, I ha- we had to review them all. You had to review them all. Mm-hmm. So you would watch. They couldn't his post unless we reviewed. All right, can, can, can uh, we can we talk the shows? Can we, wait, can we can we talk through the ad dragon thing? Because well, we, hold on, wait a minute. All yeah, right, let's let, 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 let's get to it because I think there's 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 a transformation that happens. But just to give people context of all the shows that Twit produced, um. How many had their ads reviewed? <laughs> you guys kind of set a new standard where all ads have to be reviewed now. So we, <laughs> we fucked it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's amazing. It, it kind of created um, a whole new role of continuity checks. So um, before any editor could actually publish a show, we have it so that every single ad is now... Checked. So okay. this is this is our legacy. You know, you wonder <laughs> yeah. if you live. You created a whole new job market. You actually create a position. You make it so that food is on the table for somebody now. Exactly. Bob Think McBob says job creators. <laughs> we brought jobs to the podcasting industry and we can do it again. Uh, okay, but out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody in the chat shout, click, clack, ass snack. And I look down and it says, Ali Spags. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I think this uh, is what we love so much about Allie is that uh, she's she's kind of uh, uh, the physical manifestation of so much of chat realm. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah, and I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we uh, we are being reviewed. Uh, we have changed the paradigm of the way that Twit ads are. And then uh, there is one specific ad that again flags the attention of uh, the uh, the. Uh, the, the actually this powers is, that be the powers that be as well as the ad uh, the, the the people that that actually like pay for it. This was our Squarespace click clack ad, and that was the one that we got the email for that I was banned from reading ads. I actually did block that out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, well, I truly if, blocked that out. I I I, I believe. I, I could be wrong on this. I could swear that Click Clack was first and Spam as a Rapist was second. No, no, no. No, no. Uh, the mail route was first. I okay, remember okay. that. All but right. I truly, honestly did and then, black out the Squarespace. Well, I think, I think that, that really wasn't, that wasn't a review thing, though. That was a, uh, that was something like they got, they got pissed off about that. And then that was, Squarespace legitimately got pissed off about that. They came back. I get banned from meeting ads. Right. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> it's going great. Uh, the, uh, uh, okay. So, so the click clack happens and, and for the record, uh, certainly we did not mean any kind of social commentary or satire or anything like that. We just, uh, we just, picked- I mean, we're dumb, we're dumb people and we do dumb things for laughs. Like yeah. we are literally like we are, we are an audio. If, if lighting your own fart on fire for everybody would played play. for audio, right. we would do it. Like that's the level of fucking discourse we're on. So, uh, so in this case, it was basically, you know, everything we do is a bizarre metaphor. And once we get it, we just run with it. And in this case, we compared uh, or, or Justin said that uh, and this is the funny part is you get blamed, Justin, but it's me who 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 sealed our fate. You were the one who started doing the bit saying like Squarespace, that's a gun store. Right. And in uh, me, in an effort to back your play, you know, we go through the whole ad uh, about how you keep thinking uh, Squarespace is a gun store, and I keep trying to explain it's a fast, easy, reliable way to post your blog portfolio or any other website. Yeah, and uh, and then at the end, I'm like, why don't you tweet, uh, tweet them, click clack, and uh, and so that all explodes, and then Squarespace <laughs> tweets back, click clack, and then they're not like, knowing, not what knowing is that, that that we're they're and, then and unfortunately we, we legitimately pissed off. Like, and again, let me let me preface all of this, okay? That. I do not blame Twit and me or Brian blame no. Twit at all for anything. No, like there is Correct. there is literally no element that Twit did at any wrongdoing. 
We have fucked up on every element of this story, and we are being dealt with by very patient people. Very patient people from the top <clears throat> down uh, who are just like, we like the curiosity that is your show. We are genuinely fans of your show from management down. Uh, we would like to keep you on the air, and it is for your own good that we are, A, reviewing the ads, and then fucking pulling me off. Like, that was, it was <laughs> for our own good. Right. That is what happened. Now, we reacted to it because um, I was fucking pull of piss, piss and vinegar and indignant about fucking being pulling up, pulled off the ads, and I decided that I was going to... Rebel. Well, I was going to solve the problem in the only way I know how, which is the way that pro wrestlers have solved the problem of being banned and kicked out of places now, for lo low decades. Keep in mind, uh, keep in mind, like, like return the next week in a mask. Our, our <laughs> dynamic is, is uh, there, there, there's a lot of trust that happens. And as we discussed it uh, beforehand was I was like, all right, how are we going to do this? Like I like the one thing we didn't want was for. Justin not reading the ads to be like a big thing, right? We didn't want, we certainly didn't want to turn it into an us versus them or a like, lot of, yeah, because we didn't want blowback to come back to Twit. Right, all. right. Like, because that's, that's, a, that's a cheap, easy way. I mean, that's, that's what uh, all of Howard Stern's career was, right? Was, was demonizing his own boss and getting everyone to make a lot of noise. We didn't want any of that. We, we didn't no. want to demonize our own bosses. Uh, and so instead, we, you know, we wanted to make it a way to where organically we could take Justin out and make it happen. Um, and then uh, Justin had the idea, like, what if I read it in a uh, – and this is the way it was pitched to me. Justin said, what if I read the ads totally straight and actually just focused on everything, no uh, – nothing that could be offensive to any of it, but I did it in a pro wrestler mask, and we introduced a new character called the Ad Dragon, which sounded great, and I said yes. And yeah. All right. Here we uh, we're actually we're actually uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta wrap this up. Uh, yeah, we gotta. We gotta, uh, we we gotta wrap this up here. Uh, we will, uh, we will, we will, we will catch up on it. But all I want is this: we we just need. You saw the one, you saw the uh, the ad dragon thing, and what was just your first gut reaction? What the fuck? Ha! <laughs> As it should be. All right. Uh, listen, guys, uh, I will be I will be right back. Uh, but uh, we we do gotta we gotta wrap up. Liz and I has gotta get out of here. So uh, uh, gotta we drive will, back to Petaluma. Yeah, they gotta get back to Petaluma. So we are we are up against we are up against time here.